Hi, this is Yi from Web Hosting Break, and today I'm going to review the new WordPress theme, Elegant Grunge. Now, firstly, don't let the word grunge scare you off with this theme. Understand how most grunge themes of WordPress tend to be a bit more focused on the artistic graphics rather than the usability. I've actually come across a few grunge themes and have actually reviewed them as well, where it's too dark, making the font barely legible. Now, Elegant Grunge, on the other hand, uses subtle grunge elements, as you can see. Uh, there's no over-the-top filth effect that can clutter a blog, and it's surprisingly clean, as the name puts it, Elegant Grunge. Okay. Uh, when I first saw this blog, I wouldn't have guessed it was based on a grunge design. Uh, the grunge details are kept to an absolute minimum, so instead of the industrial textures that you might associate grunge with, um, Elegant Grunge, on the other hand, has soft fade marks. Okay and also faint grey tarnishes and light torn paper edges. Uh, the white background makes the theme appear more clean and crisp, along with making the articles easier to read as well. Uh, each article is presented neatly without any distractions. So if I go and click into Food in Tokyo, you can have a look. Um, the post information such as date, time, tags and categories are bundled together at the bottom over here. Okay, and the comments are presented like individual notes, as you can see here. Um, what makes Elegant Grunge a standout are actually its custom features. So if you go onto the back end and go under theme options, um, it actually offers four different layouts, enabling you to change from full width to three column layout at a click of a button. So currently I'm on uh, where the sidebar is on the right hand side, but you can easily change it to the left hand side as well, um, which surprisingly not many WordPress themes offer. So if you are going for the full width layout, you can still include your usual wiz uh, widgets in its three column footer. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you that. So if we change that to full width with no sidebar, so save changes, And now let's go into the blog. Let's go onto the front page. So this was the two column layout and this is the full width layout. So if you still wanted to have widgets, at the bottom they have the three column um, footer. And we access that from the widgets area on the back end. Let's click into that. Okay, here it is. So primary widget area, um, that's when you have the two column layout. Secondary widget area is when you have the third column layout. And then footer widget area, which is what I have here. Okay, again, it simply is drag and drop. Um, so Elegant Grunge does support a custom menu and also a custom header as well. So if I scroll to the top, as you can see, it has the drop down menu box. Okay, and the header itself, I've actually included a, a custom header. This doesn't come with the theme. Um, I would definitely recommend to upload your own header rather than just leaving it blank by default. Because um, I think it's quite cool to have a torn paper edge effect as it's automatically applied to the image, giving it a quite an interesting twist as well, as you can see. So Elegant Grunge, it's flexible and a universal theme as the grunge element is kept to an absolute minimum. It's a great WordPress theme due to its custom options, especially being able to choose the template layout. So if you're looking for a theme that isn't too dark or heavy, but still has a touch of attitude, then definitely choose Elegant Grunge, and it's definitely something you might be uh, looking for as well. So if, you, if you're currently using this theme or looking to use it, uh, let us know by commenting below. Other than that, um, I'll see you guys next week, and I'll review another WordPress theme. Thank you. Cheers.